Eduardo Rodriguez did one simple thing to his cutter this season, and the results on the pitch have been absolutely fantastic through his first seven or eight starts of the season. So let's dig into what he did and take a guess as to whether his success is sustainable. Now, I constantly talk about pitch shape changes on my Twitter through my daily pitcher notes, and I also started up a new sub stack to help aggregate all this. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to subscribe if you're interested. But with Eduardo Rodriguez, we're singing a significantly different tune than pitch shapes today. We're talking location. Last year, Eduardo Rodriguez basically had one location for his cutter. It was inside to right-handed hitters. He missed arm side sometimes with the pitch and it would land kind of middle down in the zone. But to me, this was kind of just really one location, that down, down in territory to right-handed hitters. If you flash forward to this year, we can clearly see that this location has changed. He's now focusing both inside and away to right-handed hitters. He's avoiding the middle of the plate and he's now backdooring this pitch to righties. And as far as I can tell, this is pretty much the only thing he has changed year over year that has resulted in these fantastic results on the pitch through his first seven or eight starts of the season. Shape, velocity, everything else looks very, very similar to me in the underlying characteristics of the pitch. In April, his cutter had a 29% swing miss rate, which is great. Cutters are generally weak contact pitches, so the average swing miss there is around 24%. The x wob on the pitch was around 270, so even when contact was made, it wasn't particularly hard. Last year, his cutter had a 14% swing miss rate and a 321 x woba so it wasn't as effective of an offering, even if it wasn't really horrible and maybe something more like slightly below league average. I often talk about stuff plus mattering a ton, but I think this is a really good example of a pitcher pitching above their stuff plus with a really strong direct reason as to why that was occurring, which gives us confidence that maybe it was real to some extent. See, stuff plus and stuff, as you might hear it called, is just a combination of velocity, movement of the pitch, so vertical and horizontal, as well as release characteristics. So you combine all those, you consolidate it into one number, and it gives you an impression as to historically how pitches of similar variety have done at the major league level, basically trying to predict that pitch's success. And with Eduardo Rodriguez's cutter, it's not a particularly strong offering. He had a 90 Fangraph stuff plus, so 10% below the average cutter, and Driveline Baseball's internal model saw it as a 77, so even worse. But despite all that, he was still able to make this pitch play well above what Stuff Plus was saying it was. And I think that was partially because of this newfound location of him backdooring that offering. He kept hitters off balance for an extended period of time, doing that one simple thing, which kind of negated the Stuff Plus for a period of time. Now, the question is whether this is sustainable for Eduardo Rodriguez going forward. And I think that boils down to a question of location, right? So stuff, we have a combination of everything going on. That buys you margin for error in the zone when your location is off. If you have good shape, good velocity, good release, unique release, and it's in the zone, there's less of a chance damage will be done on that offering. If you don't have that, which in the case of Rodriguez, he doesn't really have that on most of his, or any of his pitches, including his cutter, he really has to rely on variation of location and accuracy of those locations. Because if that pitch leaks middle, it's gonna get beat up a bit. So that's the primary question here is can this location allow him to spot this pitch enough such that it plays well above the stuff plus for an extended period of time and as we see in the early going in may the league is starting to maybe correct back on this a bit the swing miss is down to 12 percent and the x wob on his cutter is up to 341 so it's a lot more like 2022 and less like the early 2023 april results we saw on the pitch and he has in this period of time in may maintained that inside outside approach with the offering his most recent start against the Pirates, he threw his cutter 17 times and didn't generate one swing and miss on it. He didn't generate one after dominating with that offering all through April. My hypothesis here is that the league has kind of realized what Eduardo Rodriguez is doing with that offering and he's getting sharper about how to combat this location switching, if you want to call it that, with the cutter. So does this mean he's toast? I don't necessarily think I'd go that far, but I think there's a pretty good chance that we just saw one of his strongest stretches of the season. He had a sub two ERA through eight or nine starts, which is incredibly strong. Um, I don't know if that's gonna continue throughout the rest of the year. My bet here is that the stuff pluses we're talking about kind of catches up with him. And that's based off the idea that simply location plus is a little more variable start to start and even year to year. There's stretches, there's almost a hot hand that guys go through potentially with location where he's able to spot that pitch better and I just don't think this stuff is strong enough such that if he starts to miss any more or less with that offering in the zone, it's gonna create a lot of damage. So I love the ability to pitch above your stuff plus by deviating location on the offering. And because, Rod because Rodriguez has relatively strong command, has shown historically strong command on the offering, maybe there's a chance that he sustains it and I'm wrong here. So this is essentially a bet on stuff as to whether you see it below average or on purely location as to whether you think that that waffling between inside outside works and he's not gonna be able to leak 
back much middle with the offering at all. So that's it, right? Stuff Plus versus Location Plus with a guy like Eduardo Rodriguez. Uh, curious your thoughts. Leave them in the comments below.